Well, in what is usually considered a relatively quiet race, one closely watched election this year is the attorney general race in Minnesota. Rather than campaigning over the past couple of days, well-known candidate U.S. Representative Keith Ellison has been pushing back against domestic abuse allegations. Still, he walked away easily with the DFL primary. Mary McGuire joins us now from Minneapolis, where Ellison just addressed his supporters. Mary? Well, Amelia, it certainly has been a tumultuous past three days for Keith Ellison, but I just spoke with him outside of the Nomad Pub here in Minneapolis, and he emphatically denied those domestic abuse allegations. He said that it's, that it's something that he will talk about in the coming days, but he did deny them, saying that it, they weren't true, it didn't happen. Name recognition and perhaps those strong early voting numbers across the state of Minnesota played a part in the victory tonight. Now, on Saturday night, the son of Ellison's former girlfriend, Karen Monahan, published domestic abuse use allegations against him on Facebook. In a written statement, Monahan says that Ellison emotionally abused her and dragged her off a bed by her feet. He says there is video of the incident. Ellison claims the video does not exist because it never happened. Here's what he had to say about those allegations tonight. We had um, a, a, a very um, unexpected um, event at the end of this campaign. That happened. I want to assure you that it is not true. And we are going to keep on fighting all the way through. We're going to be respectful to all, but we are going to stand on the truth and, ins and insist upon the truth. Now, going forward into November, Ellison certainly does have some national star power behind him. He serves as the deputy chair of the Democratic National Committee, so we'll have to wait and see whether or not those allegations play a role in the long run. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Mary.